Hello and welcome to an overview of ArcSight Activate Framework. The ArcSight Activate Framework is a modular content development methodology and a collection of reusable components designed to quickly deploy and develop actionable use cases. Activate enables you to implement and customize pre-packaged use cases without having to reinvent the wheel. It also provides a platform for you to develop your own use cases, leveraging libraries of reusable components, standardized deployment tactics, standardized methodologies, and best of all, defined best practices. Due to its comprehensive framework and ever-growing list of packages, Activate, Activate allows new ArcSight implementations to deliver value very quickly while providing more mature sites with a methodology for continuous adaptation and improvement. There are a number of packages associated with the Activate framework. First and foremost is the base package, provides foundational resources, including filters, global variables, active lists, and a lot of other base uh, resources that you would expect um, in an initial implementation uh, for ArcSight. Next is the solution packages. Uh, this is content to address specific use cases in the ESM. Uh, for example, uh, it will contain things for malware monitoring, perimeter monitoring, host monitoring, and threat intelligence feeds. Um, one of the examples I can point out to is a, a complete solution package uh, built around the WannaCry uh, malware outbreak. And next is the product packages. Uh, packages pertaining to specific log sources, specific vendors. Uh, we see a couple of examples here, Semantic, Cisco, Bluecoat, Linux, um, and uh, the list is, is quite deep and extensive. Here are another a few examples of a product pack. We've got uh, Windows product pack, Cisco ASA, Tipping Point. Uh, these are device-specific content packs supporting the L1 and L2 content in the solution packages. So L1 and L2 meaning L1 uh, along the lines of more uh, entry-level uh, content information, uh, base events, things like this, layer two being a bit more advanced, uh, covering things like uh, uh, correlation events and things like that. Um, and we can see that there will be content hooks uh, from the product packages that, that connect to the L1 and L2 solution packs. Um, and we'll see that in the, uh, in the next slide here momentarily. So we see here the activate base plugging into uh, the core uh, file folder and your um, uh, resource hierarchy uh, folder within ESM. Uh, we can see the solution packages below that. And on the right hand side, we can see product packages, uh, specifically McAfee and, and Symantec, um, and we can see there's hooks from the product package that tie into the L1 packages down below, uh, specifically for malware monitoring in this case. Um, so it builds on uh, you know, the product packages, build and, and make use of uh, the instrumentation that's built into uh, L1 and L2 uh, content that's, uh, that's deployed thereafter. In my opening, I talked about um, the implementation or, or the ability that uh, the Activate framework uh, allows for uh, a much uh, speedier implementation and a uh, much more realized value time uh, from, uh, from a delivery when turning up a new ArcSight implementation. It also helps the, uh, the more mature environment for developers to extend, uh, extend that uh, that material. So on the user track, we might be focused on setting up the initial devices, setting up the connectors and getting collection uh, squared away, and then installing and turning up your activate base package, then solution packs, whichever particular use cases are uh, desired or mandatory in the environment, um, and then the specific product packs, obviously, for the div specific devices and vendor types that you have within the environment. On the developer side, however, you might take those same packages that you installed in the user track and now extend them, uh, building completely new use cases uh, that you want to tackle within your environment for threat hunting, uh, for different specific uh, malware uh, uh, Worries, worries that you may have, um, as well as building out uh, vendor content and building out a specific product pack uh, for something that might not yet be covered uh, in the uh, in the Activate framework. And at that point, you can then uh, submit that uh, that 
work and that effort and that content uh, back to microfocus for validation um, and then it can be posted to the greater uh, community uh, giving back to uh, to the community as a whole so if this seems interesting and you'd like to find out more feel free to go to the marketplace uh, marketplace.microfocus.com and uh, you can see a lot more detail on the arc site activate framework and the different content packs available uh, for your environment thank you very much